the direct cost of teaching the equation. So for me, I can use equation one, equation two to get my equation three, which is the cost of teaching the equation. So let's get our uh, equation three, which is the cost of teaching the equation. You write from equation, take either equation one or equation two. But that's why use equation one because equation one is very simple linear. They get me. It's very simple in linear. So you use equation one, right? From equation one. That's from this equation one. Equation one is what? S minus y equal to one. Make s or y the subject of the formula. To make y, to make x the formula, what we do? What we do? God bless you. You take this y to the other side. This will give us y equal to one plus y. Call this one equation three. This now come. This now come your substitute equation. So from this one that you have, you have you are not getting your substitute. So now bring this substitute into equation two. If you please be very careful. If you get your substitute equation from equation one, you substitute back into equation two because you are removing Ronaldo. You cannot remove, you cannot remove Ronaldo and bring back Ronaldo, isn't it? So you are removing Ronaldo. You bring in maybe a Bappe, or maybe you bring or you bring in Igwe or Messi. So let's now say that you are bringing in this substitute now. You bring in this equation three into equation two. But if you get your equation three from equation two, you substitute equation three into equation one. You get me? So now, now substitute substitute equation three into equation one. I will say that you substitute equation three into equation one. No, sorry, into equation two. Substitute this equation three into equation because equation two. What is equation two? Equation two is what? F plus two y equal to four. This equation three, this equation. Now you know that your equation three is what? F equal to one plus y. And therefore you have f now you put one plus. But no, you come here like this S. Instead of writing this S map, you will place it with this one. That will cause substitute. Remove this one and bring this in. That one plus y instead of this S plus two y equal to four. <coughs> From this one we have one. Simplify this one. Have one. This y plus two y is what three y. Have one plus three y equal to four. What we have to collect the like guys. Collect the like test. Or you can say that add minus one to both sides to remove this one. From there we have three y equal to four minus one. From there we have three y equal to what? Three. Let it the last thing to do is what? Let it to do is to eliminate the three that we divide Divide both sizes. Divide both sizes by three. We have three y all over three. You got to three all over three. Three cancel three. Three and one, three and one. That y equal to one. Have you seen that? Y equal to one. From there we have. I told you that the a. So that we get y, you must get what? You must get what? You must get x. God bless you. So let's find our x. What I to do, I have to substitute this y in either of the three equations. Either this or this or this. But the best one substitute into equation three. Because you know that your s equal to 1 plus y. Not to waste your time. So substitute y equal to 1 in equation three. Or equation two. Or equation one. You still get the same answer. I will prove the thing now. Let's see if we're going to get. Let's use equation 3 first. We have s equal to 1 plus y, isn't it? Then we have s equal to, equal to what? 1 plus y is what? 1. s equal to 2. <coughs> Therefore, s equal to 2 and y equal to 1. Let's go to the second. Let me do a second example. 